personal lightweight aircrafts and private jets of the future. Ever getting tired of driving to and from the airport and then flying in a packed cabin? Check out this list of futuristic personal lightweight aircrafts that might not even require a landing strip and luxurious private jets for extreme comfort and speed of the flight. EFAN 2.0 while the majority of electric-powered aircrafts emerging around the globe today are developed by startups with small budgets, EFAN program is backed by the multinational aerospace giant Airbus. Even though this all-electric aircraft would be considered only a baby step towards zero-emission air travel, but it is a major indicator that even slow corporate machines are set to reshape the future. EFAN 2.0, that is scheduled for release in 2017, is a two-seater airplane that weighs mere 1,100 pounds but has a wingspan of 31 foot. This aircraft has two electric motors installed that have the combined output of 82 horsepower. The batteries will allow EFAN to stay in the air for 45 minutes while fully loaded. With a cruise speed of 100 miles and the top speed of 140 miles per hour, this lightweight plane will be perfect for short-range air travel or sightseeing flights. As of right now, Airbus has introduced a plug-in hybrid version of EFAN to extend the range. However, Airbus's roadmap for electric planes expects battery technology to improve and they are set to release a fully functional 100-seat commercial liner in 2050. Bell Helicopter FCX-001 Bell Helicopters is the company that has been working on the improvement of aerial transportation for 80 years now. The most recent aircraft presented by the company was created to meet the evolving demands of customers and incorporate the emerging technologies that are destined to revolutionize the passenger and pilot flying experience. FCX-001 is not a conventional helicopter, but rather a rotor craft that has a special anti-torque tail boom to reduce noise and improve safety and performance parameters. The frame of this flying vessel is made of lightweight sustainable materials to reduce energy consumption. The morphing rotor blades, that can change their shape to accommodate for different flight regimes, are powered by a hybridized propulsion system that combines a combustion engine and electric motors. Bell FCX-001 will have a spacious cabin for passengers with individual infotainment systems and it will be operated by a single pilot through augmented reality with the help of an AI co-pilot. Icon A5 This lightweight amphibious seaplane had been 10 years in the making by Icon Aircraft and made its public debut in 2014. As per the consensus of aircraft enthusiasts, the Icon A5 is the flying vessel where art meets aviation. It is a two-seater high-wing monoplane that has a carbon fiber frame, foldable wings and retractable undercarriage. It allows this plane to both take off and land from and onto the water and ground, with approximately 1,000 feet long strip requirement. Icon is powered by a 100 horsepower Rotox 912 IS engine that runs on high octane auto gasoline or 100 LL aviation fuel and sets into motion a three bladed propeller located behind the cabin. With a maximum speed of 109 miles per hour, you can fly for up to 450 miles on one fuel tank. Icon A5 is currently priced at $189,000. However, you will have to wait at least six months after the payment is made before it is delivered. But luckily, the company will ramp up the production to meet the demand. Cobalt Co. 50 Valkyrie the Valkyrie is being developed by the United States-based company Cobalt Aircraft that is headquartered in San Francisco. It is a 4-5 to five seat lightweight airplane that is intended for private ownership rather than for commercial use. As per the manufacturer's claims, it is the fastest piston aircraft on the market and the safest, with the claims being supported by the use of a canard configuration and a full-sized parachute for emergency situations. The aircraft is brought into motion by a Herzl three-blade propeller powered by a fuel-injected six-cylinder engine. The cabin of this plane is not too spacious, but would match a regular sedan. It is operated by one pilot who sits on the right side and handles the flight by a control stick. It is worth mentioning that Cobalt Aircraft is being heavily criticized for not revealing a ready-to-fly model for so long. However, footage of a flying Co-50 is indeed available online. 
If you're still skeptical, check out the link in the description. The Valkyrie is preliminary priced at $635,000 in standard modification and is scheduled to hit the market in 2018. However, it will only happen if it obtains type certification this year. Arian AS2 The collaboration between Arian Corporation and Airbus resulted in the creation of AS2, a supersonic business jet that is scheduled to enter the service in 2023. This is a follow-up to the Arian SBJ concept, which will have a larger cabin, more range and three engines. The AS2 has an upgraded design that incorporates what we have learned about the supersonic travel in the years after the Concorde era. Arian aircraft flies at the speed of Mach 1.5 or 1150 miles per hour, or from the distance perspective, a flight from New York to London of just 4 hours and 24 minutes. The new wing design will allow to travel longer distances due to the lower fuel consumption as a result of a 20% aerodynamic drag reduction. The cabin of this plane will accommodate up to 9 passengers who will enjoy the luxury interior. The target price for S2 is at $120 million, so we should not expect this plane to take over the skies anytime soon. Trifan 600 XTI Aircraft Co. is behind the creation of this futuristic lightweight vertical takeoff aircraft. The idea behind the Trifan 600 is to save the time the successful businessman will spend on traveling to and from an airport by introducing a plane that can take off and land like a regular helicopter but has much higher speed and range. This flying vessel is a hybrid that will be powered by a sophisticated powertrain. Two high-performance turboshaft engines with 2000 horsepower will be combined with dual generators, which in turn will produce electricity for electric motors that will power the three ducted fans. These fans are used to lift the jet vertically and within seconds the two wing fans will change their position for a seamless transition to the forward flight. The cruise speed of 390 miles is achieved in just 90 seconds after the takeoff and the lift is provided by the wings, like in any conventional fixed wings airplane. The Trifan, which is expected to cost around $11 million, can accommodate up to six people, pilot included, who will enjoy ultimate comfort and luxury of the cabin. Solar Impulse 2 this airplane and its pilots Andrei Borschirk and Bertrand Picard are bound to make it to the history books as one of the greatest pioneers of aviation who built the first airplane powered by solar energy and flew across the world on it. The major goal in the development of Solar Impulse and consequently Solar Impulse 2 was not the creation of a concept that could be then turned into a production model. It is an experimental project. The creator's main intention was to make a statement that the future of humanity is in the air, but not on board of aircrafts that pollute our planet with noise and CO2, but rather planes that run on inexhaustible power of our sun. Solar Impulse 2 has a wingspan of 236 feet, but the weight of only 5100 pounds, which is a little more than an average SUV. The four lithium-ion batteries with 41 kWh capacity each power four electric motors and are charged by 17,248 solar cells. With four giant 13.1 feet propellers, Impulse 2 has a cruising speed of 56 miles per hour, and this allowed it to circumnavigate the globe in 558 hours and 6 minutes. Fly Nano, priced at $40,000. When you come to think about lightweight aircrafts, you must be convinced that they should weigh at least 1,000 pounds. But you're wrong. Meet Fly Nano, a 154-pound one-seat amphibious plane that does not even require a license to be operated, even though many might claim that this is not a real aircraft and just a mere jet ski. But the creators of Fly Nano never attempted to build an airplane in its common shape. It was primarily designed for recreational flyers who want to enjoy short flights over the blue waters. This aircraft is all electric and its single 5-foot propeller is driven by a 43-horsepower motor. 
The charge is stored by a 1.7 kilowatt hour battery, which is really not that much, so do not expect a long flight with this limited capacity, but short full recharge time of 1 hour should at least let you go up in the air rather quickly. With cruise speed of 80 miles per hour, we're convinced that Fly Nano will find its fans and is destined to become a popular recreational aircraft. Vision VTOL This aircraft is the ultimate embodiment of personal air transportation of the future. The design of the single-seat concept is very simplistic and does not require control surfaces, wings, fuel systems and other limiting features that a conventional aircraft might need. Vision will be equipped with 8 electric motors, 4 to create thrust and 4 for the rotor tilting. This craft will be capable of vertical takeoff and landing by the means of the four installed ducted fans, which are extremely efficient, stable and safe. The only remaining limit for the Vision to become operational is the obsolete technology of lithium-ion batteries, their heavy mass and small density. As soon as the breakthrough in power storage occurs, this all-electric quadcopter will take over the skies. Lilium Jet, a small startup that was founded in 2015 by young aerospace engineers from the Tech University of Munich, has joined the competition in changing the world of future transportation. This company has a promising potential, as even reputable investors and the European Space Agency have backed their project to build an all-electric VTOL aircraft. The Lilium Jet is a 1,320-pound fixed-wing two-seater plane that will be lifted in the air by 36 ducted fan engines rather than usual rotors. The flight of this aircraft will consist of three stages. Vertical takeoff. With the engines directed downwards, they will bring the jet hovering in the air. The flight. After the takeoff, the fence will slowly turn backwards and transition the plane into forward motion and landing. The process reverses to the takeoff stage. Once in the air, Lilium's wings and flaps will create conventional aerodynamic lift, and flaps coupled with engines will serve as steering surfaces. This propulsion and steering system will be controlled by a computer, and the transition between the hovering and flying modes should be seamless. At this point of development, Lilium is expected to have 440 pounds payload, estimated cruising velocity of 160 to 190 miles per hour, which is by the way a significant step up over the competition and range of 190 miles. Safety features will include flight envelope protection that will reject unsafe commands from the pilot and a whole aircraft parachute for emergency situations. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like this video, feel free to check out our previous releases, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell to get informed when new content comes out. Do not forget to like and leave a comment below to let us know what top list you would like to see in the next episode. May the torque be with you!